you need to keep this on. No. It makes me look like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Although looking like a killer is fitting, I suppose, when you're planning to off yourself. What? Don't look so surprised. I'm cleaning up my closets, writing letters. Haven't you ever taken a course in psychology? I've decided to end my life. And I need you to help me. Hey. You ready for dinner? I've decided on tonight. I'd like a glass of Dom Perignon, a dish of chocolate mousse, and Joni Mitchell on the record player. Then you can leave me with the morphine. I can't do it, Lauren. I had the most wonderful morning with Paul. He's always called me by my first name. But yesterday, when he left, he said, I love you, Mom, and walked out the door. It was a nice place to end, don't you think? Didn't you hear me? I'm not helping you kill yourself. The morphine's not there. I locked it up. You have good quality of life left, Lauren. And I'm going to be here for all of it. I will care for you. I will listen to you. I'm the one who decides what happens around here. I give the orders. You listen to me. Not this time. Fine. You're fired. Get out of here now. The service won't be able to send anybody until tomorrow. Then I hope you enjoy one last night sleeping on my thousand thread count sheets. Don't think I haven't noticed your taste in the finer things, darling. That's why you ditched that poor detective and seduced my son, am I right? You don't know me. Oh, yes, I do. And all your efforts will amount to nothing because you're half-hearted, you're gutless, you're cheap. Lauren, stop it. Deep down, you know you'll always be the help. And you're just a sad old lady yelling at the help. So who's worse? Lauren, I'm going to bed. Do you need anything? Ugh. It's freezing in here. You're recovering from pneumonia. Please go away. I'm not going to let you catch your death on my watch. So you've stated many times. Please just go. <sighs> Lauren. This was a new bottle. Did you take all of these? I did what I had to do. Where did you get this? The maid keeps her PMS stash under the powder room sink. Do you know what happens when you OD on acetaminophen? I'm hoping death is involved. Liver failure. Jaundice makes you itch worse than anything. You vomit blood. Your stomach swells so you can barely breathe. And all that lasts for weeks. You couldn't have picked a more painful, miserable, drawn-out way to go. I have to call the paramedics and get you the antidote. You're, you're a strong, independent woman. How would you feel if you were trapped inside this failing body and had no say in your own fate? This should be my choice. And I choose not to burden my son. I choose not to get my food through a tube in my stomach. I choose not to pay people to bathe me and wipe my ass. Don't put me in this situation. If I were a sick dog, I'd be treated with more dignity. They'd they, they put me to sleep without a second thought. Why am I being punished? I made the most of my life. My only crime was getting this disease. Please, please let me go. Get me the morphine. Lauren, how can I do this for you? It's illegal. I sent you to the drugstore. When you returned, I was unresponsive. I can't. You checked for signs of life. There were none. Since I have a DNR, you did not perform CPR or call the paramedics. An elderly ALS patient with pneumonia is not a coroner's case. It, Dr. Harris will simply sign the death certificate and the funeral home will come collect my body. That's all you have to do. It's time. I didn't mean a single thing I said earlier. Me neither. You can have whatever you want in life, Sonia. You know that, right? Lauren, I'm really glad I met you. 
And I you, my dear. Would you be sure you're the one to break the news to Paul? That's it, I suppose. Teach my feet to 